Hey everyone, CodepinoyX here once again, back with another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. So with today's video, I actually wanted to do a little bit of a lore video regarding one of the monsters in the game as of right now, and that is none other than Nergigante. Now the idea behind this lore video is to get an understanding as to what kind of purpose Nergigante actually serves in Iceborne, as well as the base game as well, in order to get a better idea as to why Nergigante is actually an important monster within Monster Hunter World and Iceborne. Now with all of that being said, if you enjoyed these videos, please consider leaving a like on the video itself and let me know in the comments below what you think about Nergigante and its variant within Monster Hunter World Iceborne. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the importance of Nergigante within Monster Hunter World and Iceborne. Now to kick things off, what exactly makes Nergigante such an important monster within the new world in Monster Hunter World Iceborne? Well, the reason Nergigante is super important according to the Admiral is due to the fact that Nergigante serves as a balancing mechanic within the new world to make sure that everything in the new world stays within its relative balance. Nergigante, despite being a very vicious elder dragon, does serve a purpose in the new world in order to make sure that no powerful elder dragons or other creatures start dominating the entirety of the new world such as the Shara Ishvalda. Shara Ishvalda was one of the biggest threats in Iceborne and Ruiner Nergigante pretty much took the advantage of not only having us weaken Shara Ishvalda but taking on the final hit on the elder dragon in order to potentially slay it. Meaning that Ruiner Nergigante actually served as a balancing act in order for us to make sure that Chara Ishvalda never rises again. The idea of the Nergigante being a balancing act in Iceborne is not really something that we've seen before in my personal opinion, which makes it such an important Elder Dragon throughout the Monster Hunter series. In previous Monster Hunter games, we have seen many Elder Dragons that can be considered as natural disasters, but never one that has a positive impact in the entirety of the ecology. All the time we see elder dragons that can decimate entire cities or destroy the entire world or something along those lines but never one that says oh i'm actually here to save the planet instead so this is kind of weird to me that we see nergigante as this very vicious extinction dragon but at the same time it actually serves a purpose according to the admiral within the new world so now that we know the Nergigante's purpose in the new world, the next question is, how important is that role? Well, Nergigante's role in the new world is actually super important in order to make sure that all of the Elder Dragons within the new world are kept in check. Ever since the introduction of the Elder's Crossing according to the Monster Hunter World story, there is an influx of Elder Dragons in the new world, meaning that there are more natural disasters happening in the new world in comparison to other areas of the old world. This means that Nergigante has to regulate all of those areas to make sure that the new world can thrive and make sure that no area gets destroyed by these elder dragons causing these natural disasters. Having said that though, the reason that we still need to slay other elder dragons ourselves as well as Nergigante is due to the fact that we don't want every single elder dragon in the area to be causing too much trouble. Meaning that if Nergigante can't serve its purpose in one area, that's where we serve our purpose instead. And the reason that we slay Nergigante as well is to make sure that Nergigante does not become volatile to the point that it will start absorbing bioenergy anywhere and everywhere from any other creature outside of the Elder Dragons. So we have to regulate Nergigante as well in the New World in order to let it continue serving its purpose as a balancing mechanic within the New World alongside the Hunters within the 5th Fleet as well. So it's all about creating that balance in the New World between Nergigante's mechanical purposes in the New World as well as the Hunters purpose in that area as well alongside doing their research. Overall, Nergigante's purpose in the New World is definitely one that is considered to be super important because of the fact that this Elder Dragon is regulating all other creatures in the New World such as the Elder Dragons which are considered to be natural disasters. Having said that though, I don't think Nergigante has enough power to regulate other creatures such as the Safijiva and the upcoming Black Dragon, the Alatreon. Meaning that it does serve a purpose within the new world, but not enough to actually rival the likes of Safijiva and the Blazing Black Dragon. Meaning that that is a task that is left up to us to investigate in order to make sure that Nergigante can serve its purpose in the new world without taking the risk of taking on these really deadly elder dragons that could potentially put the Extinction Dragon out of commission 
within the new world as the balancing mechanic. So overall, Nergiganta is definitely a super awesome Elder Dragon and does have a super important purpose not just in Monster Hunter World but the entirety of the Monster Hunter series because of the fact that this Elder Dragon's purpose is the complete opposite of what other Elder Dragons do within the Monster Hunter series overall. And that is pretty much it for this video, taking a look at Nergigante's importance within Monster Hunter World and Iceborne, and even the entirety of the Monster Hunter series. What do you think? Is the role of a balancing mechanic a super important role for this monster within the Monster Hunter series? Or do you think it's not that important in your personal opinion? Let me know in the comments below what you think about Nergigante as a balancing mechanic within the Monster Hunter series overall. Now that is pretty much it from me for this video. If you enjoyed these videos, please consider leaving a like on the video itself and subscribing to the channel as well as hitting that bell icon so you can go ahead and catch up on any future Monster Hunter content that I might be doing or any other games that I might be playing in future. Until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks ever so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Onward and upward.